my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop. A lot of people have been asking for this video over a lot of time. It's something I mentioned and I've just, it's on the list and it's here. It's actually been done, so that's a good start. So, what the hell am I talking about? We're talking about, as the title says, um, repairing fairings. So, I've got some various bits here that are broken off. Uh, this one's good because we have a nice crack. There's a nice crack there at the bottom. So a propagating crack. Uh, and these are, this is ABS. I don't know where you're going to be able to see that. You should be able to see the reflection. Um, take my word for it. <laughs> this is ABS. This is actually tr semi-transparent ABS. So that's a bit of a weird one. Uh, but it says again ABS. There are some other panels. So these are for some moulds that I want to make. Um, these unfortunately are PA6 plus ABS, so basically nylon plus ABS. Um, I don't actually know how well this is going to work with these. It might be a pain in the ass because the actual mix you can get might be a pain in the ass to get exactly because it doesn't give you percentages. It just says PA6 plus ABS. Obviously, there'll be a blend and that could be an issue. Any road, I've got some ABS. I've got some ABS in black and grey. This is actually, I should hide the, the brand. I'm, I'm, this is no affiliation to any whatever. But obviously, with the advent of 3D printers, ABS is now readily available in, well, generally two different sizes. So this is the 2.85 millimeter. And then, do I have any? I've got the black. I'm going to use the grey. But, um, there we are. Get out my collection of other stuff. So this is a real, well done Matt, this is a real. <laughs> you can see why I do this channel. Um, so this is, an, this is a PLA. So PLA won't work. Well, it'll melt, but that's about it. Um, so we get a bit of cut of it. There you go, there's a bit of it. Put that to one side. Um, but this is PLA. So this is what a lot of 3D printers run off. Uh, a lot of printers then run off ABS. It depends, it depends what you want to do. This, what the reason why I've gone and got this out is because we're going to use a good old Dremel. And this will not fit it. it you tighten down the collar and it flops around. It's not big enough. Um, so you want bigger stuff. Now, a reel of this stuff can cost anywhere. This is the, it's the 2.85, but we'll just call it the three millimeter, all right? I'll just call it the 2.85. This is the 2.85 stuff, and a lot of people don't use this or have use for it because it's really quite thick stuff for doing big 3D quick prints, draft ones, if you will. Um, but ask around. You, Nearly every, every other person and his dog has a 3D printer these days, so ask around if anyone's got some. And they might be able to just, you know, cut you off a length and send you it, you know what I mean? Because most people have Dremels or equivalents. So, I'm going to get our cutters, I'm going to cut off uh, no, an inch. I'm going to cut off an inch. I mean, you're going to use the grey one because then you can see what's happening. Because this is a demo, this isn't your piece. And then tying it down in the collet and then have about uh, six mil, seven mil stuck out, something like that. And it's like a pen. This is why this works. So if I master of zoom you, like that, hopefully we'll be able to see what's going on. Now I'm just giving you a demo. Um, so you know, you, you'd probably go out your way, actually that, that, that went together really well, but You'd go more out of your way to try and make sure you know, it's taped together and it's held together properly. Give it a squeeze, turn this on, and you want to use it. I'll tell you what, let me just set this to manual focus. There, so hopefully it's not going to go out of focus because of the what is it.
And what we're doing is we're just tacking it together, which means generally I push quite hard, get it to mushroom out. Um, so, because I want almost like penetration, because this 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 stuff is it's like three mil thick. Now you could try and do kind of like a well prep little V, you know, you, you bevel anything. The only problem is, is you're then going to lose your edges. So this is a, um, we'll just put that in there like that. Then we'll come to this end and we'll push down here, try and get it bang on like before. Basically, we're friction welding this back together. But the beauty of this is that it is the same plastic and we're not heating up the rest of it. You get what I mean? We are just literally using the tip. <laughs> Like so, and it is a pain in the ass, right? It, it's not like it has this, it's not like it's um, a way you go like with a biro. Now you can buy um, 3D printing guns. I've never actually used one. The problem is, is that just melts, that just melts this stuff away. Um, you get what I mean? It just melts away. I know it's out of focus. I'm not that bothered about me reloading it. It's a due, it's a you know it's a process that takes ages. You've got to just refill it, do a bit, 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 and away you go. Um, we'll go to this top. You've, you've kind of seen a zoomed in version, so let's just put it back on automatic focus. So, as you can see, this is what we're doing. There's nothing on the other side, actually, really. I'm just going to keep on going and fill it all in. Right then, so after that fiasco, this is it. And if I've been honest, if I'll just show you it that way, it will break, of course, because it's never going to be back what it was. However, that is pretty good. And as you can see, what's happened is, is that it's, it's because we haven't V'd it. If we V this out, and do some more. Now the thing is, this is quite thick, right? If we get something more, just say like this, where a crack has started, and you can push the whole thing back together, and this stuff, this isn't as thick. This is, I'll tell you what, instead of guessing, how thick is it, Matt? <laughs> so this, that's three mil thick. That's how thick that is. And this stuff here, this is two mil thick, right? So, bit of a difference but again if you've got something like this where and it's usually what happens things don't completely break off uh, generally speaking they just they have a crack in them so this in two pieces because that you know the actual there's a bit where it chipped out and there's a hole 
and it's gone in there and I can't get that out. <laughs> like this stuff, this stuff. You, and actually, what's quite interesting is this bit here, this bit, this section here. A master of zoom. This section, go on, that's it, go on there. That section there, that didn't break where the weld was. That broke, you know, this, this here isn't where I welded. Look, if you look on both sides, that isn't where I welded. So if we V'd this out a bit, and like I said, depending on thickness, if you V'd this out a bit and then sat there and spent some real time on it, because what I'm trying to do is I'm not trying to do this repair, right? I'm just trying to do a video introducing people to the idea of doing this. You get what I mean? So that's what I'm kind of getting at here. And even with this, quick as I can, um, demo, you know, without V'ing it and all the rest of it, without filling it in properly, um, the, like I said, the only problem with V'ing it, it, I would only V one side, so I would kind of, you've got your three mil, I'd only V one side down to a depth of about one and a half millimetres and then leave the other side flat because you need this to align and key and if you bevel it both sides and a lot of these things are curved and got all sorts of shapes going on, you're going to find it very hard and difficult to line that up unless you put some weird clamps on it. And it's a big fairing, so on. So, rule number one, be aware what plastics it are. I, I would love to use it. I'll get some other bits of fairings and stuff. Um, we'll try some different ones with different, what is it? I have tried this in the past with PLA. It doesn't work. So you do need to use the right plastics. Uh, the PLA doesn't bond to the ABS. It just flakes off. Where with this, um, yeah, it proper, it, it's part of it. And, you know, to conclude what's going on is that we bent that quite a bit and then it broke, you know what I mean? What you do after this is you'd obviously rub this down. Uh, that, again, why you'd want to V it, because you want it sub flush so you can rub this down flush, and then you respray it or something like that. If you were to use a black, I'm sure it'd still look messy and gnarly. So, you get what I mean. It, it, it's kind of refinishing and then you have to coat it over the top. It depends what you've got because some people have got fairings that they just can't find replacements for, can't repair them. It's more vintage bikes that have the ABS. Nowadays, the newer fairings are blends of ABS, PA6, uh, PBBN and all sorts of crazy different mixtures. It makes them more, a bit more flexible and less likely to break, which in a sense, because like my welding mask, what's this stuff made out of? Uh, this is uh, PA, right? So this is uh, a nylon. This stuff is, you know, super tough, super, it, it's weirdly flexible. And of course, they make these because you're gonna chuck them down. You're gonna, they're gonna receive impacts and stuff like that. Uh, and this is what fairings are made out of more, you know, this is like a stiffer version um, because of the ABS in it. So you know what I mean? It, 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 get the right plastics and have a go. You know what I mean? It, it's all based on your thicknesses and stuff. But we did this and then bent it quite a lot for it to break and a part of it didn't break along the weld, which is a sign that it didn't break along the weld. <laughs> that in a sense it can be, or you're getting close to a strong. And at the end of the day, these are repairs. You, you're never going to be as good as, you know, a, a one solid entire piece. It goes the same way, like cast it, uh, welding castings, like aluminium castings and stuff. A lot of the time, um, your weld is either, is either better than the casting, so it just breaks around the, the better material, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? But this whole melting, just metal onto it, when you do this, you'll start to see that you get blends. You can't see it in here because this stuff's transparent. Uh, it's like smoky transparent. Where with this one, when I was doing it in that corner, you can kind of see there's a blend of the black and the grey plastic, which is exactly what you want. You want them to fuse together. And if you look at this tip, you look at some of these tips, this has got, you know, you can see there there's a black and the, and the, and the grey starting to mix together. So that's in a sense exactly what we want. That's why it's so important that you have the same plastics. Any road, this is um, a demo and a food for thought thing, you know what I mean? Someone might say, well, why don't you get just say like the blunt end of a, of a what is it like this, you know, a blunt drill bit and just spin it around and melt it. This does gum up, it does turn nasty. I have tried that as well. Um, I, it, 
it kind of works, but it, you get really iffy results. The best results I've ever had is get some almost three millimeter Dremel away you go. That is easily the best results I've had. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, then that's great. Put them in the comments and then we will, um, like for instance, if, if, if enough people want to see it, we'll bevel this out and we'll try again and see how good we can actually make it. But I was bending that quite a lot. That wasn't bend it a bit and it snapped, you know, it was proper deforming it. And like I say, one part of it broke without the jobby. So I think that's a good enough repair. And if you spend more time on it, you can, you can get even better results, that kind of thing. Um, I hope that makes sense. And I'll see you in a bit.